It's live. Am I supposed to be quiet or no? Yeah. Stop. Are you recording? <laughs> Stop. Bucky's going. Grasviet. I can't hear anything. I know you can't hear. Okay, soldier. but that's it. That's it, though. That's it. Okay. Okay. Just enter. You have to insert uh, his screaming sounds or his music. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Imagine. welcome back, everyone, to the so Falcon soon. and the Winter Soldier, episode three, the Power <laughs> Broker. <sighs> <laughs> this is your first time uh, listening to Film Crawl. Thank you for uh, turning us on. And... Uh, you know, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Film Crawl. Or if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. You know, write a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. As you know, you know, our season vets, massive spoilers to anything, been here. To anything we've laid our eyes on ever. So I can't even <laughs> give you an explanation. If you know either of us, we will spoil your life. <laughs> And then Get be like, ready. oh, you haven't seen that? Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. <laughs> uh, but we're going to be talking about Falcon and Winter Soldier, episode three. Um, and, you know, everything we like and dislike. This one might be a little shorter. We're on a tight budget and schedule, guys. Okay. Um, overworked. Yeah, overworked, <laughs> slaving away. Literally have, like my work computer here so rip Taking uh, calls. you know just throwing them straight to voicemail <laughs> um out of office email <laughs> this may also include spoilers for episodes one and two but if you're listening to episode three i don't understand go listen to one and two first then come back um, if you haven't seen it you know simple stuff right easy subscription <laughs> easy but with all that out of the way, in our uh, funny soundbite, because I wanted to get the the Russian words in there, we were right, dude. You yeah, you we were. That's the first thought I had when I cued this episode. Literally, up. <laughs> just like everything, bro. Predicted it. It's all going. What what is Thanos Thanos voice? <laughs> it's all going <laughs> according to plan. <laughs> Reality could be I whatever I want it to be. <laughs> you, I hate it. Oh my gosh. Um, great episode, best episode so far, in my opinion. And that's not how hard I'm, to do. That's how I'm. Oh, yeah, not hard to beat, I don't think. And, and um, you know, if this was episode two, it would have been hype, dude. It would have been. Yes, hype. dude. I had uh, that thought. I was like, literally, if they... This could have been... Yeah, this could have been episode two, and I would have been like, hell yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm in it. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. Um, and yeah. it's it's good. And again, it's, it's a good show, but I, I just... I am going to say it every episode and every Disney Plus show that they do because there's just not enough episodes or length in them if you're gonna do six they need to be like hour 25 hour and a half like okay the newest kind of not relevant but off topic but the newest loki trailer just came out and that shit looks so good and i'm so excited mm -hmm. for it but i know it's gonna be short ass episodes and i don't even know how long that season is but um you know just just go go ahead nicole what were you gonna say oh uh, no well okay this I am gonna sound like a complete hater on all of the, every single episode. I think I sound like a hater, but because I think it's the same director at least so far for each of these episodes, mm -hmm. I don't like their directing style. Or it's maybe it's the editor, but I don't like the editor. This episode was good. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but the moments that were good felt forced like um we talked about i think we talked last week about like 
the humor between Sam and Bucky. Yeah. And ha- like that was in here, but it felt so scripted. It was like, oh, this is supposed to happen. This is the moment it's supposed to happen. You got to do it. You know, it didn't feel natural like it usually does. Yeah. And that really annoyed me because those are the moments that I like. And that's what I wanted to see. And sure, I'm seeing it from them, but also it just felt so fake. And I I feel bad, but that's yeah. what it is, you know? Yeah. Do you know? Do you see it? Do you know what I'm talking about? I get it. I mean, the moment I saw the car, I was like, here it comes. <laughs> exactly. But exactly. But it, it's not even like you know oh the car that's fine if i see the car oh oh, okay it's it's coming Mm -hmm. it's the fact that like the scene sharon literally goes well great reunion walks away oh hit cue (laughs) cue joke and then drive off yeah you know what i mean yeah no i get that um speaking of sharon she's badass and they made her really badass in this uh, well, she's fucking over it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, she's had a shitty life because of the Avengers, essentially, right? Or not not because of the Avengers, but because of the Sokovia Accords, is what they're saying. Because she right. she sided with Cap and them. So she's basically on the run still. Yeah, because, like, no, I guess no you don't one's really granting, think about that. <laughs> No one, like, granted <laughs> pardon after all this? Like, okay, you know, like... Right, exactly. Okay, we were we were kind of wrong. You were kind of wrong. Like Thanos is dead. Stark is dead. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that that too. But like you know, okay. Yeah. Like Sharon Carter, we we would love to have you back. I guess not. Yeah. Well, it, I guess it hasn't been a long time, but still, because they even oh. talked they even talked about the pardoning of the, by the president. Um, remember in last episode. Oh. When they're like, oh, we're going to arrest you, Bucky. And he was like, oh, the president pardoned oh, him or whatever. that's right. I forgot about that. So I was kind of like, hmm. <laughs> uh, well, we talked about, uh, I thought at least, when the way this episode started with that commercial bringing like Wanda vibes. Yeah. Because um, I thought our another prediction of ours was coming true is in that they were going to show, ooh, what life was like during the blip. Mm-hmm. And I was super excited. And mm-hmm. then they're kind of planting those seeds and I think leaving it up to pre- interpretation, which I get you have to do because there's only six episodes. But I think that's the part that I'm missing from this show. That's probably why I don't like it because I want it to go there and it's not going there. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's, it's going to. Yeah, it's kind of just force feeding us like these you know uh discrimination and stuff like that and it's like i i want to see that through the scenarios that they're in i don't want you to force that on me yeah yeah and i think um i think this episode did a little better but like you said there was a lot of stuff that they had sharon carter like say that was kind of just like okay like they were literally like, oh, we need all the fan service here. <laughs> um, with, like, the hints she said, like, she called Bucky, like, Mr. America or something, which is, like, a reference oh, to comic right. book Bucky, because that's, like, oh. a, apparently that's what they call them in, like, some comic chain when he was, like, cap sidekick. They call him, like, Mr. America. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's just some like weird, uh, like little Easter egg stuff, which is fun because they do that in all their shows. Um, yeah. I, for one, tell me what you think about the whole Zemo breakout. Do you, do you buy it? Like, okay, I'm. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah. Because I liked the dynamic with Zemo, and that was basically the only way they can bring him into this, you know, mm-hmm. is like, like by breaking him out. But it was too easy. Again, feels forced. Like, oh, mm-hmm. this has to happen. So here's how it's going to go. And like the humor, I don't know if it's just his character, but the humor with him, I just, I, I don't know if I'm like vibing with it, you know? Damn, I laugh. Damn. I laugh. Let me know, guys, know. in the comments. Let us know on Instagram and stuff if you buy, if you like Zemo or not. I love Zemo, dude. I know. I, you're I so like, weird. I think, I think he's like, he's similar to like Loki. Like, I know he's going to be bad, you know, but I, 
you know, I'm not putting him in Tom Middleton on the same level. I don't think, right. but like character wise, you know, they're both bad and they they have like that comedic aspect to them still. And you like seeing them on screen. And I think that's, re- they really changed him there in this show for that aspect. So but I'm surprised from you because he tore the Avengers apart. Oh yeah. He... I hate the guy, dude. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's, yeah. I mean, I liked Thanos too, right? Cause it's freaking, what's his name? <laughs> but Brolin. Brolin, but he is you know he is awesome character and stuff but uh i just like i like zima on screen i think he i th- honestly think he kind of lifts the other two up a little bit in in the roles i, I don't know like we've only seen him in this episode and you know that was this but um we'll see where it goes i don't know how it's gonna I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're we're reading yeah. towards uh, Bad Cap, John Walker, who's Captain America. Yeah. Dis- discount Cap. I think Chef we're, Boyardee. Yeah, Chef, Chef Boyardee, Boyardee Cap. Himself. I think we're. Uh, <laughs> I think we're leaning. I think it's going to go towards that, and they're going to have to take him out. Because right now they're trying okay. to do things by the book, and they're not y- getting yes. anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm really, I'm really afraid that Bucky's gonna go a wall and steal the shield, mm. and either uh, go on the run with Z. No, they won't go there. But I'm kind of nervous because they are alluding to the fact that Bucky wants to take this back for good reason. Yeah. But I'm really nervous on how they're gonna do that. I. I do agree that the dynamic, I, I like the, wh- what everyone is saying is that Marvel's great at chaotic trios, yeah. you know, and this is, this, this is, is definitely one. one of them. Zemo's like the little kid with the parents. <laughs> They're like, shut up. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't buy the moment where I was like, okay, I don't buy this is when he kills the scientist. Yeah. And, and then they're just like, okay, yeah, we need him. No. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there was some parts in this, and one of the parts, like that part and and the breakout part, like they could have done a whole episode on like the breakout. Mm-hmm. But where we're at with six episodes, I wouldn't have liked it. So I'm okay with the way they did it. Is what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say. Because if they yeah. did a whole, if they wasted this whole episode on that, then like, you know, it's, you know they could too. They yeah. would totally do yeah, that. Yeah, they would. <laughs> and so. <laughs> that's a good decision and i think the comedy there was pretty funny like i i, I was i didn't think that it actually happened i thought that was like playing in winter soldier's head like when he was talking mm. talking to sam you know and they i thought they were yeah. gonna actually go break him out so i thought that was pretty comedic and then it was funny because um most of the time sam's the one throwing the joke and not yeah not not bucky um but that's also a very hard decision to make because Wakanda don't forget. And that's the way, you know, <laughs> the episode ended. So that there's like a lot of things happening right now. And I'm like, what the hell? Where are we going to go? We have yeah. John Walker discount cap. We have the flag smashers or whatever they're called who <laughs> were they even in this episode. I don't remember them. And then they were. Yeah. Uh, and then um, you got this storyline with Zemo and then you got Sharon Carter in two episodes and, left or and then Isaiah episodes left. and Isaiah. I don't think Isaiah's coming back, which is okay. And that bothers me because, and the same thing, like in this episode where they make Sam be like a, what a pimp from Africa or something <laughs> or like a prince. Yeah. That's like, come on. That is way too on the nose. Yeah. That was kind of d- weird. That one was that was kind of weird. So strange, and so it's like you're introducing these relevant topics, and you, like you want to make it a joke, but then you're trying to make it serious. They should have made him dress like him. Denzel from Training Day or something, or or even fucking Black Panther or something. I don't know, like oh, like sleek, stylish black suit, something like that. Yeah, yeah. and especially with the tie-in to Wakanda in this episode. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
I think they're just missing a lot of marks and because because it's like oh it's an action show that has a little bit of comedy I'm we're letting it slide a little bit but yeah that's, I'm that's more a good point into them yeah I loved this I actually like the cinematography in this episode a lot the colors were great um, oh yeah you know Madripoor is cool and Madripoor is uh, really big in X Men stuff so that's kind of interesting that's um, what I heard I'm pretty sure that's where Wolverine got his his stuff done right like his uh his metal what? no thing. he he got it like on a camp in the philippines or something or like in the mountains well i think it was like in madripoor though i don't remember oh but, okay yeah i don't know i don't know some people are speculating maybe we see some tie-in with x-men somehow well uh, fuck. it's about time they keep teasing x-men yeah, stop it they do they do i mean uh, i really don't give a shit because if it ain't Hugh Jackman, then I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want to see what they do with it, honestly. In yeah, Disney. yeah. Um, Winter Soldier, you know him being quote unquote Winter Soldier was really badass. It's fun to see Bucky, yeah. you know, fight again. You could tell he hates it though. Um, you know, I think Sebastian Stan's playing the role really well. I. I don't get how people don't think that he's not Winter Soldier, but maybe I guess oh. <laughs> everyone just thinks like he could turn back at any moment. I don't know. Cause you know, they use that a lot in this episode. It's like, Oh, you're going to have to deal right. with him or, or, Oh, I'll give you, I'll give you him in the controlling words. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. See again, felt cheap. Yeah. Just like, like trying to get around easy. it, but I don't know. They don't they don't elaborate on the world enough for us to know where people's minds are at. So um yeah. it's okay. That that stuff is like so minor though in the episode. Like you're like, oh okay, if it's going for like this action vibe. Zemo was hilarious. Yeah. I love him. he's gonna be their money, I guess, because they're doing all this off the cuff now. Um so his fur jacket, his fur I can't jacket, <laughs> and then, immediate. And then him in the club. <laughs> I love he gets out he busts out and immediately grabs his fur trim like totally, we would totally do some shit like that. oh my gosh yeah this was a fun I episode can't. I I think this was a really good episode the music was really good too uh, the, yes the music was amazing and I guess that what like the mass Zemo puts on is from you know when he like jumps off the thing yeah that's from uh, comic books as well like he i guess he that's his outfit like the trench coat type thing with like the mask yeah so, i uh, mean it, it felt kind of corny and not gonna lie yeah i was like <laughs> what like, Zemo, why are you doing this right now <laughs> yeah and i also don't i don't do we buy that i guess they're trying to make him like he's the mastermind genius but i don't buy him as like the uh physical like superpower that he is or that they're depicting yeah. him as, but I, I. Oh, briefly they did that yeah. briefly here. And when he broke out, you know, like he took out the guard, like it was nothing, and like that kind of stuff. Oh, that's right, that's right. But in Civil War, they don't. He's just like a mastermind, right? Like he's just ahead of them always. Well, and, and he hates he hates the super soldiers. That's yeah. what he wanted to get rid of. So, yeah. I. Hmm. Yeah, I. You know what? I see him killing discount cap yeah i th so let's do a little prediction thing i think we're gonna get discount caps gonna get pissed because he can't get anywhere with the law right because uh -huh. yeah. you know they broke into that that like cafe or whatever and they tried to go hard and the guy just spat in his face literally um seriously who pulls and... that anymore <laughs> spits on cap bro It'd be like shield of the chest in a second um so I think I this is what I'm hoping for. I don't really know if it's going to happen. I like I said, there's so many different like things they can do now, especially with the end credit with having the girl from Wakanda, I forgot her name. Um mm -hmm. in it like I'm now I'm like what the fuck is going to happen? Like are they just doing that like to pay homage and and like just doing this as like a small like cameo like oh why would you do that and then sam's gonna be like oh I'll, i got it don't worry like type thing or are they gonna oh, actually yeah. like be in the show you know what i mean 
Um, no, I think it's a, I think it's a thing because Bucky has ties to Wakanda. I think I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean he's he was there for years, like multiple years, right? So was it years? I don't uh, know. Yeah, it was at least at least two, I think. And that's where he got his arm, his new arm. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I I totally I thought what was his original arm? The one with the Russian star on it, like the silver one. Oh, and, then, and it yeah. wasn't the titanium or whatever. Yeah, and they gave him the upgraded one. So uh, vibranium, I think. V- it's vibranium, yeah. Vibranium. Um, makes me miss Chadwick more. Uh huh. Um, Too soon. Dude, he's just so good at that role. It just it's fucking stupid. Very sad. Um, let's. I'm th- I'm hoping discount Chef Bar D Kroger cap. <laughs> gets pissed gets a hold of the serum like we're saying we're in this show they said like there's only like 12 vials left in the world i guess right oh right yeah so i think he gets a hold of it and he takes it goes like bad bad and they the three take him out and of course like sharon carter and stuff and you know maybe there's that moment where bucky's like i'm taking this and mm. and then he like gives it up to Sam because I think ultimately I'm still I'm still thinking Sam's gonna get it, um, which is fine, but maybe that's where this goes. And I kind of hope it goes that way because I think there is a storyline. I was trying to read about it, John Walker Cap, and I think there is a storyline oh. where he's like dark. They call him Dark Cap or whatever. Like he's bad. So oh. Um, don't go there. They're probably gonna go there, dude. You don't want him to go there. What? What would you like to see it go? After scene three, where do you want to see this go? I kind of want to see it. This is left field, but I, I, I agree with you that I think Sam's gonna get the shield back, and he's gonna reevaluate what it means mm-hmm. and what it means to carry it. I would like to see him. Uh start like the new Avengers or the young Avengers. Oh, Cause I know they're working on that. Yeah. I would like, I, I kind of want to see him in this mentorship role, especially with the whole fam, him and his sister dynamic. I think yeah. that they're playing around with, like I can totally see them going there. I don't think that's going to happen, but I definitely would like to see that. Um, I, we've kind of been talking about this back and forth between these last few episodes, but I don't really see where sam or bucky can fit after this right like you you mentioned a second season of this Mm -hmm. i can't see them in movies you know like i I can't see them in doctor strange yeah i can't i maybe spider-man but even then i'm kind of like where what would they do and where are they going with this so it's tough i yeah i don't know but now maybe they're like teasing black panther 2 and bucky's gonna be in there but again what would they do it's just so interesting yeah that's really that's really interesting that you brought that up because we could get black panther 2 um yeah i mean we're gonna get it but it's like maybe that's why they have her in it at the end there and like similar to what we saw in Mando where like Ahsoka's in one episode spoilers but Ahsoka's in <laughs> one episode right but uh, that's well, two, yeah. oh, one yeah. and a half ish but that's like purely to just set up her show like she wasn't in it after that so um, maybe they do something like that but you know I'm looking at the yeah. lineup right now we have uh, we have the Hawkeye show is that Hawkeye uh-huh. show? so I don't know if we see them than that. Um, Loki, they're not going to be in that for sure. We know that. Uh, what if they won't be in that? Miss Marvel. Oh. Mm. Moon Knight, She-Hulk. Like, I don't see them in a lot of the Secret Invasion, possibly, like we talked about possibly. before. Um, Iron Heart, Armor Wars, I Am Groot. What? are these titles i don't understand yeah, bro, that's pretty weak sauce um <laughs> you know we were wow a lot of stuff has gotten moved since i'm looking at this old phase four photo uh um, you know we were supposed to have wandavision spring of this year and fall of last year was supposed to be falcon and winter soldier from the original oh announcement. falcon was supposed to come first yeah that's crazy so 
Um, and then, you know, like this year, like I don't see, like you're saying, I don't see them in Strange. Maybe I see them in Hawkeye. And then there's Thor, Love and Thunder. They're not going to be in Thor. Yeah, no, that because that's like Guardian. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, the Rocket Raccoon, like had a dynamic with Bucky. I don't know. Yeah, that's hard. So maybe we. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, yeah. Yeah. I I think you're right. We'll we'll find out where we're at when the show ends, and you know if they do something. Like you're saying where like, okay, Sam maybe he's like going to reassemble a group. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe they kind of throw that out, out as like a, the cliffhanger at the end, you know, kind of like the, the WandaVision one we saw where, you know, he's starting to train people or, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. Or him, he could, I would love it if he and like Monica Rambo got in contact with each other. That'd oh, be that'd really be cool. great. That'd be great. Yeah. And, and if we saw that, then he's going to be in an in invasion, right? Secret invasion. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, the show's cut. I think this is, like, the best episode, of course. I think we were all expecting it to be or being better. Um, man. And then we go into phase five. I'm looking. Sorry, I'm just oh, looking. Phase five. There's a phase five. Yeah, dude. It, it's just I don't know where they're gonna go. Uh, they have. I don't even know. I think this is rumored. Yeah, I think that's kind of rumored. Um, I don't even know when we're gonna get a new Avengers. To be honest, because oh. in phase four, there's no Avengers this year so yeah no there's no way if if anything it's gonna happen in five years jesus imagine i was gonna say next year at least no uh, no way we'll see what happens bro well you heard it here first shit five (laughs) years it's all right we have eternals (laughs) this year we'll be held over for many of years yeah with a cast of 10 (laughs) We're not ready. Oh my gosh. Um what do you have anything else, man? That's all I got. I think this shows this shows hard to do in the, on this show <laughs> on Film Crawl cuz yeah. um it's pretty straightforward, but yeah, nothing's happening. You know, we can cover a lot really quick because they're so short. Mm-hmm. So um maybe you guys like them shorter. I don't know. We want to try to keep them shorter, but um I don't have anything else. If Nicole doesn't have anything else, we can get into scoring in this episode. And if we have shots we love last episode, pff, we did not have a shot we love. Um, <laughs> I do have one. I have one this this time around. Okay. So you got you go you go you go you just go. Okay. All right. Am I? I'm scoring. Okay. Scoring and then yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. I, despite all my shit talking, I do. <laughs> recognize this episode as good for the series as a whole yeah um and it's it's good to have that fun marvel it, it, it felt like i was watching marvel again and that i like that so i'm gonna give it a one so uh, even you're gonna give it Ooh, you're gonna give it higher no i was ex- i'm just surprised by your score that's all yeah, I did want to give it a little higher, but you know, come on, I'm not a complete hater. Sometimes I give <laughs> give respect, but yeah. Uh, and then a shot I love, I I really liked. It happens early on when Bucky goes and visits Zemo, and he walks up to the glass and that reflection. Oh, you yeah. have both of their reflection. It's kind of like, oh, okay, sins of my past, or like yeah. the person. I'm, I thought that's really cool, and I was looking, I was getting deep, I took a puff, took it, you know, <laughs> went deep with it, but I think that's really cool. I love little sh- shit like that. So. I was laughing at that scene, though, at the same time, because I was like, why is Zemo's cell all foggy, like he's bl- smoking a blunt or something in here? <laughs> like- well, dude, look how good his digs are in prison. <laughs> I know, he had a freaking, he had like, <laughs> God, he had a jacuzzi, dude. Dude, he had a sunroof. I don't even have a sunroof in my car. Oh my god! He could see the outside. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I love the shots of Madripoor. I think they're all great. And I love that whole color scheme that they did. Like this gangster yeah. underground, but it's like, you know, neon type stuff. It wasn't like cyberpunk, but it was just, yeah. you know, really contrasty. Um, so I, I like that whole sequence. I love the club sequence just because Zemo's dancing. And I think that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. Um, I give it a one as well. And, and I think, yeah, I think it's the best episode they've done. Um, notice how like it's better when we don't have these like flag smasher people. Just saying. Yeah, dude. Uh, seriously, they could yeah. have literally just ignored that and just done bad cap or something, trying to get the oh. serums or some shit. Right? Like they could have just done it without them. Uh, I don't even remember them in this episode. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Like you said, they're in it. I don't remember. I don't remember where they are. Um, okay. Yeah, her mom dies or something. It's trying to give her oh, yeah, give reasoning behind why she's doing it. Uh, yeah, I and I, I again, it doesn't make any sense. I, yeah, I feel yeah, bad, but just, get him out of here. Just <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh! And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna see. I don't want to see her turn good. Oh God, no! You know, like she's gonna be like, oh my, I didn't realize what I was doing. Like if if we do get like dark cap or whatever, like. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, but, yeah, I give it a one. I think it's the best episode. I'm excited for Friday. Um, you know, we'll see where it goes. I'm still going to always be sad that it's six episodes. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah exciting stuff. I think this is uh, the more – this feels more Marvel than WandaVision, and I know WandaVision wasn't trying to, you know, feel like the movies or anything, but – um, mm. it just feels more natural to go back to, I guess I should say. Whereas like Wanda, WandaVision was like a stark difference. Maybe that's why they had this slated before it originally. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. But, you know, WandaVision, everyone, a lot of people love WandaVision and I do too for what they did. I just don't really dig reality TV shows or whatever. So, uh-huh. so that was the hard <laughs> part. But yeah, um, excited, excited for Wakanda uh you know interference do we get um is her name yuri i i don't know the, the, this character's the sis- name it's, no not this one but but his his uh sister oh shuri. shuri shuri do we get her in this like who knows um, oh yeah i don't know her name's Leti Leti right Letitia, right yeah uh Letitia, yeah Letitia, right Letitia, yeah do we get winston duke <laughs> oh god i wish uh, but you know i love that interference here like because that's a huge like issue in in terms of like the marvel world right i mean yeah zemo killed broke the avengers apart he killed the, their king right so there's a lot of yeah he started basically he started the the cracks of civil war yeah i mean that's huge yeah that's yeah. pretty big um but i'm excited so let us know guys uh, in the comment section or on our social medias twitter facebook instagram at the film crawl what you guys thought of episode three if you're excited if you're even watching the show you know like <laughs> or if you're just listening to this i don't know Hello? um if you're new here you know subscribe write a review on Apple podcasts. Uh, and if any other podcast sites offer stars or anything like that, rate us, <laughs> you know, all we're the, desperate. <laughs> all the, all the, all the things. Um, but yeah, that's it. We will be back with episode four on Tuesday, um, of next week. And you know, we'll see where this goes. I'm excited. We'll be right. (laughs) I wrote it. (laughs) No checks. (laughs) But thank you guys so much for listening. We hope you have a great week. Uh, Stay safe. And as always, see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys. Bye.